Hi everyone, welcome to Homeschool Autism Life. My name is Jamie. If you are new, thank you for coming. Um, and if you are not, thank you for coming back. Today I wanted to chat a little bit more about homeschool. Now if you're not all of my Sunrise people, viewer, watchers, um, I have more content coming about Sunrise, of course, um, as it is a continual thing that I am doing. Hello, my son. Um, the other thing um, is that I'm also homeschooled, called Homeschool Autism Life, for a reason. And I've been on this journey of trying to figure out how to make my homeschool journey with my, autis my autistic son, excuse me, um, more effective and enjoyable and something that he wants to do rather than a fight. Um, I don't know about any of you who are homeschoolers um, of special needs um, individuals, but um, I've been finding myself on a complete and total journey. It's like this one thing after another. I think I've got it worked out and then it's like, nope, nope, throw it all out and start over again. Um, and that has kind of been the case again with the, the latest change. And I spent a little bit more time talking about it on my last video. But today I wanted to show you a book haul that I got for um, essentially next year, but I'm starting to work it, it into my everyday um, thing for this homeschool um, because I really wanted to start reading to him. Um, it has come to my attention that I have done something un quite unintentionally, but I have allowed how I grew up, how I went to school, because I was in the public school system my entire life, um, I've allowed that to kind of dictate a little bit um, with how I homeschool my son. Um, the understanding of I need this, I need that, I need like math and language arts and science and I've got all of these things that I need to cover and then I'm trying to like twist it to fit my son's needs. And unfortunately that hasn't always worked for me because um, I'm really I'm really pushing him to do something that he's not quite ready for. That's that whole, I need him to do this. Sunrise people, you know me, um, or you hear me. Um, the idea that I want everything for him, but I'm needing nothing from him has been hard in the context of homeschool. So this, um, this thing that has come up. I listened to a podcast, which I'll share again this week, but it was talking about the importance of reading to your kids. And with Darian, I was so, I know he can read because he was writing answers to questions I had not read to him. But I was having this whole need to go, okay, I really need to solidify this skill in his life. I need to make sure that he is reading everything so that he gets it more and more and he doesn't lose that skill and whatever. Crazy, crazy things that were going in my head as I felt responsible for preparing him for the world and life and education and Oh, all of those pressures that we tend to put on ourselves. Um, but the this podcast and some of the other things that I've been looking up and reading about is they're saying, no, it's really important to you for our kids to read to them. So I really needed to hear this podcast. I really needed to do the research on and just understand that while Darian might not appear to enjoy it, if he's not stopping you, then chances are he is liking some aspect of it. And he's gaining vocabulary, he's gaining cadence and all of that kind of thing. And I really need to value that and not <clears throat> value math or language arts, you know, grammar and punctuation and all of that over him actually hearing the, the written words spoken. So anyway, that takes me to the book haul, which I'm really excited about. I don't think I've done tons of these on my channel, but 
I was really, um, I talked a little bit about this in my last video about the new curriculum that I'm looking at for September 2020, um, and it's called Gather Around Homeschool, and <clears throat> there are some book lists that they recommend, and I didn't stick with those. Um, I had a whole bunch of things, so I want to do the space unit, for instance, and my son has loved space and planets for a long time, and so I actually had quite a few resources already, and I didn't bring them out to show you because, yeah, I think when I get the, the space unit or whatever, maybe I'll go through those in particular, but I just wanted to show you what I found. It's something called Book Outlet. It's a thrift bookstore online. Um, and I saved about $200 on the books that I got in this box. Um, and I only spent 100 on all of the things that I got. Now there were two duds, mostly my own fault. Um, but at the same time, I was really... Um, I can still use them or re-gift them or whatever. I'm not all that concerned about it. So I'll talk about the duds first just because they're on the top. Um, I wanted a picture book about Africa and on the thrift store. So um, I should explain that a book outlet um, .ca is for the Canadians. Um, they have their own branch and what they have available is there and then they have book outlet com and that's for the US viewers I'm not sure about international um, they might have stores internationally I don't know but those are the two options and hint if you type into Google search um, book outlet coupon um, you can usually find another additional 10% off or something on an order if you do it that way but I'll try and link them down below and you can check them out um, and yeah we'll see how it goes but I'm really excited about what this place offers because all of these books are used and so yeah so I was looking because I want to do the Africa unit I was really looking for a really big picture book and I'll show you some of the other ones I got for other units but I couldn't find one that really had lots of pages, was really, you know, and this one, because you only see the cover, I was like, oh, well, that looks good. And it's only South Africa, but at the same time, you know, they've obviously got the major animals, which is one of the things Darian will be really interested. And I completely missed that this is a travel guide. <laughs> Mommy had a blonde moment. And did not notice that. So most of it is a lot of writing and points of interest for people. But there are still some really beautiful pictures in it. And I figured like some of the animal ones in particular, if we're doing um, lions or whatever, then our, or if we're talking about lions in that unit, um, I can take a picture from this book cut it up because I don't think I'm sending it back um, cut it up put it on the thing with a map of Africa and we can research where the animals where all the uh, lions excuse me live and just indicate it with a star because my son is in a super like draw color kind of guy so yeah this one wasn't what I expected but that's okay life happens and we all live and learn and then I wanted, I got a lot of sticker books specifically for my son because he isn't the drawing artist type of guy yet anyway. And so I wanted to really stretch him in and do pictures, but do it in a way that he was most comfortable with. And so I got a ton of sticker books from there for really like three, four dollars. It was beautiful. But I got this one, which is about dinosaurs, which he does enjoy. And I thought this could be one of those, like when the girls don't have school or whatever. But it is actually fairly juvenile. And they didn't really specify that when I was looking. So they have like different craft ideas and stuff like that, which I don't know. We'll see. He might be interested or I might give that as a present to a niece. Yeah, we'll see. So that was a dud. 
Now, this one is one of the sticker books that I'm talking about. I really wanted to go for these. I like ones because they are very, like they're beautiful pictures. They're not drawn, they're not cartoony. Um, and to me, that's really important for my almost 12 year old son because I think it maintains more oh, realism and stuff like that. So this is um, the next year's units. She has one of creepy crawly things and I'm I wanted to get this one because their sticker books don't stay in stock for very long and so I wanted to get this one so that I was prepared for the time when we get to the bug unit. So the great thing is is that I did get this one for our Africa unit which I'm pretty happy about um, and it does have some like silly things in it that are younger than 12. Oops, we're dropping things. Um, but I really, there's a bunch of stickers because I couldn't find a sticker book specifically. The I like ones, I couldn't find one specifically for Africa. So this was the next best thing. But it is made, it's got 2,000 stickers in it. And I can do that or I can do them, um, the stickers within what they have for activities. So yeah, that one was a win for my Africa unit. And then I got the Our Planet. Um, and this one I got for um, pretty much a lot of the different units, um, mainly because I was looking at it and going, I love watching BBC Earth um and blue planet and all of that kind of stuff um i love they've just got beautiful beautiful pictures this is of a plankton plume um this is an alligator and her babies rainforests and stuff like that so they have the beautiful beautiful pictures that i like now if you are coming from a faith-based uh, viewpoint. Um, some of the, the discussion points in the paragraphs that are written are very um, evolutionary and millions of years and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm already preparing not to read tons of that stuff um, just because, and nice. oh, and um, Hi, buddy. So, um, with this one, I was really wanting it for the beautiful pictures. I think I can fill in some of the Africa um, picture books that are pictures that I missed um, with my dud. Um, but I really wanted this one because of the beautiful pictures, and I can adjust and you know do things based on our beliefs and our viewpoint um, with using this one. Um, we are also doing an oceans unit and so I got a couple of things so I found the sticker book again that I'm really excited about um, because Darian does like sharks and stuff like that and then I got a coloring book which is more an adult one but it's National Geographic and my girls love 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 coloring and so I just photocopy the pages and give it to them and so for Darian, it's not something that he truly, truly appreciates and loves, but it's one of those things that, um, yeah, it's, it's an activity that I will sprinkle here and there. And this is one of the, the huge things that I was talking about as far as um, picture books to go with our units. Now, I already had one for our space one. I have actually two or three for our space unit, but I didn't have one on the ocean necessarily. And so that was what I was looking for with the Africa um, travel guide that I got. But I'm sure I will be able to pick another one up somewhere. But yeah, this one just has, again, these beautiful, beautiful pictures that I wanted to kind of have Darian really really interested in. I don't know if I'm holding this so you can see it well enough but yeah so that was something that I really really was excited about um, and like I said these are thrift books so um, I don't know if you can see but there's like these little drips of some kind I think it's soap or something but like I said you know a hundred dollars for a whole bunch of books is I'm okay with a little bit of crinkles or 
stuff that I might have to wash out. So with my space unit, because Darian love, 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 loves space, um, I'm going to drop things. Um, I wanted to kind of round out our reading. So I have some um, for our morning basket or things that I'm reading to him at breakfast time. Um, I do have some Magic School Bus chapter books, but I wanted to bring in a little bit more um, realism, that sort of thing. So I got this um, Hidden Figures um, about the African American um, mathematicians who helped with Apollo. And this is their young reader version. Um, Mommy is also a space junkie, so he does have a child, a more child-friendly version, but Mommy loves reading this kind of thing too, so I got this and I'm just going to read ex excerpts from it as time goes on. I found a space sticker book so he can make um, all of the planets in a row, he can um, when we get to the space, there's a whole bunch of rockets and we can do those from the, the little ones all the way to the Saturn V. We can talk about the International Space Station and satellites and yeah, all of that we can do from this. So I'm really excited about that. And then I got this one from Buzz Aldrin, Look to the Stars, and it's like a complete for kids overview of space race and the whole nine yards. Um, he ha only spends one page on his particular journey to the moon, but it's one of those things where I really wanted to round out my collection of things. So I'm really super pumped and excited about what's to come and I really feel that I'm igniting some excitement and passion into my son but also to me which is super helpful when after a long while you're just like oh homeschool. <laughs> so um, I hope this has been fun and interesting. Seriously, if you are a gather around a homeschool mom, check out Book Outlet. Um, I am in no way, shape, or form affiliated or being sponsored by them. It's more just I wanted to share that that was a resource that I found. Um, my thrift store doesn't usually have a lot of those types of educational books, and so it's really nice to find a resource online. So I hope this has been a really helpful and interesting video to you. Um, I'm super excited about what's going to happen this year, what's like what I'm bringing in already. I will start reading these books to him this year and so then um, September 2020 is, yeah, the pattern has been set and he will be excited to learn because he's learning all about all of these other things. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and come back again. Like and subscribe if you want. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.